Hello YouTube family and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes it is, your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. Last week, Tanya, Fitzgerald and myself went on our first semi short road trip in the Jeep. Everything went perfect, except for one little issue. I was trying to find a way to keep my food cold longer. So I used an old hat, or at least what I thought was a hat, and I put salt in my ice, thinking that it would keep my ice cold longer. But to my surprise, that wasn't the outcome. So I got to work Monday and I asked one of my smart, brainy, uh, pencil holder in the pocket friends, what did he think went wrong? And we theorized what we think happened. So that led to this week and an experiment. So y'all stick around. We got a hell of an experiment coming from you. I think it might, you might find it useful and it might just avoid you buying one of those $400 Yeti coolers, which was gonna be my next move. Oh, and y'all stick around to the end of the video. I have a $1 hack that actually saved the day. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. Alright fam, like I said, okay last week when we went on our road trip, I used, I have about 12 or 15 of these ice trays. I could go by the store and get one of the two lot of bag of ice, no big deal. But since I already had a bunch of ice trays, I was trying out a theory. So I decided to use my own ice. We didn't need much, we we're only gonna be gone for a day. So like I said, I put ice in uh, several trays. I put ice in the water and shook up the water and put that in uh, like five ice trays. And then I used regular water in five other ice trays. When we got to our destination, one of the trays had melted. And y'all stay tuned, like I said, and I'll tell y'all which tray melted faster, what $1 purchase saved the day, and what me and my brainy friends think the outcome actually was that I missed. So what I have here today, I got one ice tray, and this ice tray has salt in it and I got salt written right there on a piece of a uh, paper towel and this one is regular water. I have my uh, Coleman, my Weber, I'm sorry, my Weber grill, my thermometer and it's hooked to my phone and right now you can see it's 85 degrees and if I grab this and hold it you can see the temperature probably go up so it's reading ambient temperature right now and you can see, let me hit that, and you see it, it's rising as I hold it. So it's reading the temperature correctly. And this is just my old uh, thermostat that uh, no longer works on my air conditioner. So I kept it so I can see what's going on in my Jeep inside my small refrigerator or my cooler. And that one's reading about 88 degrees ambient temperature outside. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this ice melt and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our experiment. So y'all stay tuned. I think y'all are gonna find this interesting and it might just save you 400 bucks. All right, fam, we're back. It's been less than an hour, but that's the reason I did this outside. It's 90 degrees. I wanted this uh, experiment to go rather fast and get our results. Now, what you see I've done is I stuck my thermometer in the ice with the salt. And I think in the earlier in the video, in my intro, I just said water in the ice tray. And I don't think I, meant, I said salt in the ice tray. But this ice tray has salt which y'all probably figured out, and this one is just regular water. Now y'all can see, in less than an hour, this one has already started to melt. You can see there's water in there. And I left it in the bag intentionally. I think I can control it better that way. This one, still solid ice. Now you can see right here, the salt ice is 45 degrees. Now let's take this probe out and let's put it in this hole right here with the ice. Now, watch what happens. Now, 
Now, while I'm out here, I'm fanning flies. I feel like Eddie Murphy on coming, on coming to America, where he's fanning flies the whole time <laughs> during the movie. I feel like, whew. Now, the probe with the ice is colder. I mean, with the salt. I keep saying ice. The salt is colder. Our theory was that this, the ice would keep the water cold longer. Say that the water stopped at 40 degrees, well, it would stay at 40 degrees longer. I'll come back out and I'll try it later, but right now it's not showing me that. It's showing me that the ice is staying at 37 degrees. And once again, we'll put the probe in the salt watch it it's going back up so there's no way I'll come back in an hour or so and check and see which one holds the temperature lower but right now that salt is whew, 15 degrees or so higher than the regular ice so could it be that our theory all these years have been wrong that putting salt in the ice, I know it works in the ice cream churn, and that's where I got the idea from. My dad would make ice cream for me about once every six months or so when I was growing up, and you always put salt in the ice. I thought it was to keep the ice cold longer, but you know when you brine a chicken or do something of that nature, when you brine a chicken, you put the salt in in order to draw moisture out. So could it be it draws the moisture out of the ice somehow and render it warmer we're going to come back in about an hour we're going to check this again and see if we get any different results but right now it's looking like that salt and ice is not a thing it doesn't work so y'all stay tuned i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you the one dollar hat that actually saved the day and Buying a Yeti cooler or one of those more expensive coolers, they do have coolers that are cheaper than Yeti. Yeti. You can get your own igloo a cooler for like a hundred bucks. There are several out there you can get that performs about as well as the Yeti. But once again, I'm not paying 400 bucks for a freaking ice chest. I'll buy one of those uh, pneumatic refrigerators for 500 bucks before I do that. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to be back in a while. We're going to give it an hour. the results we're getting so with that being said I'm gonna need a couple of my viewers to please try this experiment for yourself take your thermometer just take a couple of ice trays put your salt and water in one ice tray no salt in another ice tray get a thermometer a good thermometer hopefully I was going to try one of those uh, regular thermometers that I have there but I don't think that's going to work so get yourself a good thermometer and do, do this experiment with me tell me what I'm doing wrong because all the geniuses say that this should be working the opposite way from what is working 
And the reason I'm doing this is to try to avoid any of us. That's what we do here, this and that. I try to find the least expensive route to get us to the best position that we can get to, whether it be with our George Foreman grill, with our hot logic, with our big easy turkey fry. Whatever I do, I try to do it inexpensively. I try to have fun doing it, and I try to get us to the same place inexpensively. And this one ain't working. Looks like I'll be going out to either buy a better cooler or I'll be showing y'all my hack. Okay, fam, here's my $1 hack that saved the day. At the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store, but especially at the Dollar Tree, this thermal bag, reusable, it holds up to 21 pounds. It keeps hot food or hot substances hot and keep cold substances cold. Due to the fact I didn't know if my ice hack was gonna work or not, I put all of my food in, one of the, in that bag along with the ice. And I also put ice around the outside of the bag as well in this soft cooler and by doing so when I got home me and Tanya stayed on the road about and Fitzgerald we stayed on the road about eight about seven hours and my food was still cold and I still had regular ice around the perimeter of my food so I didn't lose anything so that one dollar hack saved the day so I suggest in any cooler, even a Yeti perhaps, if you use that $1 bag, if you have room, put that bag, put your food and your cold item in that bag, then put them in your cooler. And I believe it's gonna give you another six, seven hours of cool or cold ice. And I also always use, I have hard coolers and I have soft coolers. But when I'm going on a short trip and I'm using a cooler, I always use a soft cooler. Now I'm not gonna tell y'all why today, that's for another video. So y'all come back in a couple of weeks. Next week, my next video is gonna be on the George Foreman. So y'all make sure y'all come back for the next video, whether it be Wednesday, cause this is gonna drop on a Monday, whether it be a Wednesday or a Monday, y'all come back because I have not abandoned my George Foreman grill, either one of them. I haven't abandoned my uh, smoker and I definitely hadn't abandoned my turkey fry. I just been doing some different things since me and my wife are considering doing some traveling. So we're kind of trying to do the Jeep thing or the suburban thing, the overlanding thing, but I have not abandoned y'all. So for those of y'all who tune in just for the Big Easy or the uh, George Foreman, they're coming and they're coming at you hard and fast, I promise you. But for today's video, once again, if one of y'all, a couple of y'all would please do this experiment with me and tell me your results and help straighten your boy out because right now I'm confused. All the experts are saying that this thing, the one with the salt in it, should the water should be colder. Once again, I know I'm being repetitive, but once again, 65 degrees salt. I even tasted to make sure I hadn't made a mistake. I stuck my hand in. Since this experiment is over, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, that's salt water all day long. I don't know what went wrong, but please, one of y'all give me a hand, do the experiment. All right, fam. So, as of today, I still can't say I would go out and buy a Yeti cooler because that one dollar hack works. And if you're not, if you don't need a big, but if you do have a big cooler, another suggestion I have is one of those sun visors that go in your windshield of your vehicle, take that and line your cooler with it. Even if you have a bigger cooler, put that on the inside, put one on the bottom. If you have one of those big 30 or 40 gallon coolers, put that in the bottom and then get another one and put around the sides. And I guarantee you it's gonna keep your food and your ice cold longer. So that's a, uh, as uh, D.L. Hugo says, that's advice from the uh, GD section. <laughs> so fam, if y'all enjoyed this video, 
y'all give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down and a brief reason why in the comment section. If you like what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. It's your boy Rosie. Y'all have a great day, a great week, and a great 2020. Peace.